So it was the end of the month and I once again acquired a few books, so I figured, what the heck, let's throw them to you guys. So here is my April book haul. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm here for my monthly book haul. I ended up getting a few books this month. A couple I purchased and a couple I got stuff from publishers. So I figured I might as well share them with you guys because, you know, I enjoy watching these videos. So I get an idea of what books are out there, so... What the heck? Let's let's now show them to you all as well. So the first book that I picked up this month was The Spell Sword by Miles Cameron. This is the second book in the Soldier Sun series, of which Red Knight is the first. I read the Red Knight in February or yeah, February, and I loved it. It was so good. So this is the second book. I cannot wait to pick it up and see how the story continues on. And I am anticipating doing that in May. So I should be finding out very shortly what I think of it. And this of course is in the UK edition. I love the UK editions of these books. They're so cool. And they're all like kind of different colors. Colors. First one's red, this one's blue themed. I think the third one's green. So I am very pleased with these covers. I just find them to be fantastic. So I'm excited to dive back into it and read it and pick up the story where I left off and see what happens to all of our characters. This month I also decided to visit Powell's Books, which in case you guys do not know is like the biggest bookstore in the world and it is amazing and beautiful and glorious and I love it to bits. And I exerted a lot of really excellent self-control I was there because I only picked up two books and these two books are the following. The first one is The Fall of Arthur by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is Tolkien's verse retelling of the Arthurian story and I've always wanted to read it and I hadn't it up yet and I saw it there and I was like of course I have to get it now. I've actually already started it and I'm already really liking it so just so excited because it's two of my favorite things Arthurian legends and Tolkien so it's like a match made in heaven. The next book I picked up while I was at Powell's was one that caught my eye and I decided to just go ahead and get it and that is A Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell and and I've heard from people who have read it that it's a pretty good series, and I'm excited to see what I think of it myself. It follows this elite guard called the Great Coats, and they were tasked with protecting the king and upholding the king's law throughout the land. But the king dies, and the land is thrust into this time of upheaval and war. And each of the Great Coats were given instructions by the king before he passed away. And so the main characters, Falcio, Brasti, and Kest, have to kind of reunite all of the Great Coats so they can save the land from turmoil and figure out how all of their instructions come together to protect the land. So I'm excited to read it. It seems like it'll be a pretty cool and fun series plus the cover is kind of cool. Look at it. Look at his billowing cape. Billowing cape. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so anyway, it caught my eye and I thought you know what? What the heck? I'm hoping to find out what I think of this one soon. The next three books were all books that were sent to me by publishers in exchange for my free and honest review which will be happening soon. The first of those is The Neth the Grim by Matthew Jobin. It is a series that is hailed as being just for like Tolkien lovers. So I am excited to see what I think of it because I am a Tolkien lover who loves Lord of the Rings and it seemed like an intriguing fantasy story. It follows this land that was supposedly once banished this evil called the Nethergrim, this evil being called the Nethergrim and who is supposed to be have been vanquished but it appears that he may not have actually been vanquished and is in fact coming back because children start disappearing and Edmund whose brother was taken has to kind of figure out how to get his brother back and figure out the truth behind the Nethergrim and what is going on and all of that good fun adventure stuff. So it seems like an intriguing story and I'm excited to see what I think of it. And then of course I also got the sequel to that book which comes out next month and that is called The Skeleton. and it is book two. So I need to read book one so I can get to book two and then hopefully review them for you guys. I've heard the Nether Game is pretty great so I'm excited to see what I think of it myself and that is going to be happening next month as well. And the last book that I was sent is The 13th Continuum by Jennifer Brody. This is a dystopian novel that takes place far in the future after some type of nuclear apocalypse and all life on Earth has been wiped out except for all of the humans living under the ocean. So it's supposed to follow all of these people who have been living under the oceans for I think like a few hundred years and things start happening and they might have to go and venture out onto the surface once again. So it seemed like an intriguing concept. I kind of like the idea of like civilizations living under the oceans. So I'm like, you know, I'm intrigued. I want to read this book. So this is another one I'm hoping to get to next month as well because it seems like it'll be a pretty cool story. All right, guys, those were the few books that I picked up in April for my April April book haul. You'll have to let me know if you've read any of them and what your thoughts are on them. Thank you guys so much for watching and until my next video, happy reading. Bye!